Hey guys, we're uh, today gonna look at how to use Snapchat. Um, I wanna show you uh, the ways that Snapchat can be used. It's the Snapchat 101, if you will. A lot of people ask me for how to use Snapchat, not not exactly what it's used for uh, this session. I'm, I maybe we'll get to that in the future, but right now I just wanna show you how to use it. So here we go. All right, let's get started um, on the home screen. Now, what what uh, is going to be a little bit hard for me to show you is the uh, the uh, ways that I'm I'm thumbing through the screens or I'm I'm, I'm switching between screens. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, share with you what I've done, uh, how I've slid through the screen with my thumb, so that you can follow along. The first thing that you want to do is is come to this uh, this screen, the the opening screen. Um, the opening screen is really where you use um, and set up everything that you're going to need for Snapchat. So by clicking on this little icon, the one that's moving of me here, you can see that. Um, I can actually click on that button down below and it's going to take um, different shots of me, which is what creates the animation. And that gives everyone an idea as to who I am when they're thumbing through and looking to follow people. Now in the top right hand corner, you can see there's a little arrow up. If I wanted to, I could save the image um, in the lower left hand corner and that's going to save it to my phone so that I can actually share that image out on Twitter and Facebook and all my social media. Now in order for people to follow an image, all they have to do is come back here and click add friends and you can have all these different options. So these options allow you to add by a username if you know their, if they gave you the exact username. You can obviously, you can add by an address book or you can add by the snap code. Now it's not gonna work very well to add myself to a snap code, but you can see here, lol, I'm trying to add myself, it's not gonna work. But if you did, um, here let's add Jennifer um, here. She's a good friend of mine. She'll pop up because, um, because it sees her in my address book and it knows that I'm already friends with her so now I've added her to my address book um, you can also add nearby or share username but going back to snap codes that's a great way to take a picture of a snap code and be able to um, uh, follow someone so coming back to this screen here now you've got a couple more options that I wanted to show you at the very very top in the center there's a little trophy and if you click on that trophy it's just very it's just fun it's like a little trophy case and as you solve certain things um, send snaps reply to snaps do different things it's gonna show you um, that you've won a new trophy so it's kind of cool it's just fun there's nothing more to it. it's just a little gamification and again um, my friends so you can click on my friends and you can see everyone that you are friends with in Snapchat. This is my list of friends in Snapchat. Um, as you get started, you may see a, a much smaller list, but you can grow these, these people up into snappers uh, that you snap back and forth with, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my thumb up, which brings us down to the screen here, the main screen. Um, I'm gonna flip my thumb to the right, which brings us over to the private uh, snaps. Now private snaps are a great way to see, as you can see, I've got snaps here with different friends and each of these friends are snapping privately to me and that is the farthest left screen. So now I am on the farthest left screen and I can snap. Literally, here's my friend Chris Strub, who is a great snapper, wonderful snapper. I can say, hi Chris. And that is going to send a, um, uh, uh, that text just to Chris. So Chris will only see that. Now I've got other options here too. I can click down in the lower right hand corner. I can send him some of these fun little icons. I can actually take a little snippet of a video, but be careful when you do this because it is live and it does not give you the ability to edit the video. So here, hey Chris, how are you doing? Good to see you, man. Cheers. So that just sent that to Chris and he's gonna see that as a little animation with some sound. Now I also have the ability to actually sit, send a video here that I can snap, not the most flattering picture, but I can send it just to Chris and um, take it that way. I can take a snap or if you push and hold, then you can see the little red circle is actually recording a video up to 10 seconds. So you can record all the way up to 10 seconds any video. Okay, I didn't go all the way because I let it go. So you can go two seconds, one second, all the way up to 10 seconds. 
Now that video is ready and I can send it to Chris. So let's go back to the private area. I'm not gonna send anything more to Chris, um, but uh, one other thing I did wanna share with you is that you can send images. So if I wanna send him one, an, an image of me working out here or uh, you know one of my um, one of my images that, that makes sense, uh, perhaps you wanna meet somebody somewhere or you did something fun, you can send that image to him. So let's go back over to the main uh, screen here. Was, again, we're back now to the private uh, snaps. This is the direct message snaps. Um, you, if you wanna go back and, you, and search, you can um, by person. So if you have a long running list of private direct messages, then you can go back and see all the people that you've done. Now, I really I really like um, like this area because this is um, this is something that, that um, I use quite a bit. It's the H to H in Snapchat, if you will. It allows people to um, really send you something you know, the fun or interesting. Now, the other thing I'll sh I'll share with you too is that um, that once you share once you share this with Chris and he sees once Chris sees this, it's going to disappear after he looks at it. So when he goes away from the screen and then comes back again, it will not be here. The only way that you can actually make these things stay, let's say he shares his email address or his phone number, is you click and hold. I'm gonna click and hold the sun and see how it says saved. Now, next time I come back to it, the uh, the sun will be there. Um, now, Chris, it looks like Chris may be uh, actually texting me because there's a little blue uh, button there. Um, so he may be texting me back right now, but either way, I've now saved that sun. So when I come back to it in an hour, it's gonna be there. Okay, so we're back to the main screen here. Let's talk about this main screen. The main screen is really interesting. You can click again on the top here, the very top where the ghost is, and that's gonna take you to your um, to your main screen. So, or you can take your thumb and you can you can just move it down and it's gonna take you back to that main screen as well. See, so there it tells me that Chris sent me a private message back. Now you can also look at the, um, at the the flash so if i want to take a flash uh, picture in the top right left hand corner um i can turn the flash on and off um obviously it works just uh you know for the side that has a flash camera in the top right corner you can take this uh take your um your um your camera here and you can flip it so i can see that i'm recording this video here on my screen and i can see everything and tell you exactly what i'm looking at or you can see what i'm looking at now if i want to double click the screen it does the same thing it reverses it back i don't have to click the top right i can just double click the screen pretty cool right now in the lower left hand corner you can see it says two now the two means that i've got two messages now i've got one from chris and one from eric now those are on Red messages. Remember, when you look at the message, it's going to disappear. So I save them up when I'm going to really be able to answer them and, and remember what I'm responding to. Sometimes it gets a little bit nuts if you respond to somebody. Or sorry, you, you, you see their message and then you go to respond to them a day later and their message is gone. So I keep it there until I can really reply to them and make sure that I answer. Um, now again, you guys know how this works down here in the, in the bottom. It just took an unflattering picture. Let me take a flattering one, or at least a little bit better. Okay, so that's that's a little better. Um, now, in the lower left-hand corner, you can see you can um, measure how many seconds this photo is going to stay up when people view your Snap Stories. So that's really important to know because sometimes you want it to be a little bit longer if it's going to point them maybe to a, a website or an, or um, something that's going to uh, require them to write something down. Maybe longer is better. And maybe if it's just something fun you're doing during the day or a story, you can make it a little bit shorter because it's not really something that's as important that it stays up longer. Now you can control that. You can also take a picture and you can click the button just to the left with the arrow looking down. You can click the little arrow down and it's going to save that picture to your camera roll which is great now that means I can post it to snapchat and I can save it to my camera roll so if I wanted to I could um, I could post this to other uh, other social networks using the, the photo that I just took here now I can also click in the top right hand corner so look at the top right hand corner there's three little icons um, let's let's take the left icon the left icon is all your emoji so if you wanted to click on emojis you could do that and then you can move it around you can pinch and zoom to make that even bigger right or smaller and you can move it wherever you want. So any emoji works that same way. The same thing happens for the one to the left with the with the T. That's that's your text. So I can say um, teaching 
Snapchat and it creates this little bar here. See that bar? Now I can use my thumb to move it up or down. So if it fits in a certain place, I can do that. Or the other thing I can do is I can click the T again and it's going to make it into this uh, more text oriented um, uh, font that I can then move around. Now I can take my thumb to both of my thumbs and I can I can flip the um, flip the the words. I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. I can even tap on it. And then once you tap on the words, you can see up in the top right corner, you have some options for colors. So I can make it a different color. But, and uh, all you do is you just move your thumb up and down the color bar and it changes the colors. Now, um, one more thing, this is just a tiny bit advanced, but um, really fun to do is that you can actually click it one more time and it's going to center the text. So each time you click it, it, it rotates it from um, from this one to left uh, justified to center justified. And again, you can move it and slide it and do whatever you want with it by using both thumbs or both two fingers um, and moving things around. So just click on whatever it is you wanna move and move it with your thumbs, got it? And then the next one that you have on the top right is something to draw with. And again, you can choose whatever color you want and then, um, and then you can draw with your thumb once you've chosen it. And obviously I did not go to art school, so this is not my best art drawing in the world, but we're gonna do it anyway. So now I just drew with that and maybe we wanna create an arrow um, down to a URL or we wanna create some kind of action that we want them to take. You can do that here. So anyway, that's, that's how you create a snap. Now, here's the other cool thing, if you flip to the right or to the left, you're going to get even more options. And here it is. I'm going to I'm going to click out of drawing. Let me erase that last one. I'm going to click out of drawing, and I'm going to flip to the right, and it's going to give me different filters. So I can do different filters on top of um, on, on top of the photo. Now it also is going to give me a cool. Uh, cool filters that that lay over your photo so you can see here it, here's one that says I'm in San Jose so there's a filter for that and sometimes what you're when you're at events and this is starting to get advanced because you can actually make your own and I'll cover that again in another video but you can cre you can slide over and create your own own um, your own filter that you want to use now these are unmovable you can't move the filter so you kind of want to make sure that you don't crowd it like I've done with the icons behind it so maybe you want to move your 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 stuff out of the way so that it's not as busy I would never make something as busy as what I've just shown you here I'm just trying to show you everything that I have uh, that snapchat can use so anyway we're gonna pick one that's just you know San Jose I've got a nice little arrow already there now here's the cool thing I want to now share this chat um, this sorry this snap so what I want to do is if I wanted to share this as part of my story now a story is something that lasts for 24 hours so all your snaps combined become a story so if I wanted to do that the little icon on the lower left with the plus and the square I would hit that and it would just simply add it to my story or in the lower right hand corner the little arrow allows me to click on it now I can add it to my story and I can also go share it with somebody specific to make sure that they see it for sure. Now be careful here because you don't want to spam people with stuff that they don't want to see. So, um, you know, it's, it's much like sending a direct message on Facebook or on Twitter. They're going to get a notification if they have that turned on and they're going to see that little number in the lower left hand corner showing them that you have shared something with them. So make sure that you um, do something that's really relevant to them. Uh, maybe you did a video and you want to say, hey, how are you doing? Uh, Chris and you send that just to Chris but this is more generic so I'm just gonna send it to just my story now if I did want to send it to Chris and my story I could just click both and it's going to make sure Chris sees it and my entire uh, community if they go through their snaps and look at my snaps then they will see my share so I'm gonna go ahead and share this with my story by clicking the lower right hand corner where the arrows are now that just shared that to my entire story 
Okay, before we move on to the rest of the area here that we just um, arrived to, these are all the different um, snaps that you can go view. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how you have started to build your story. So if you go into my story and you click in the top right, and then you, um, uh, in where the three little uh, bullets are, then you can see that, that you have plenty of options here. First of all, you can see all of your different snaps. So starting at the bottom with Happy Friday, and then moving up, we had some fun last night with some friends, and we got to try and taste some Cuban rum, which was really good. And then, um, and then moving up, you get to see like what what the time frame is for all my different snaps. You can see that for your snaps. So every time you take a snap, you can see how many views you got over on the right hand corner what what kind of text do you put on there see some of them don't have text on there it's just a picture so there's no text and then some of them um uh you know have the uh, or all of them have the the time frame so you can see what time it was done now even um more so you can click i'm going to click on this very bottom one um and look at the look at happy friday over on the right on the 125 where i have 125 views i'm going to i'm going to push on the 125 and I'm going to see that I have 125 people that um, that viewed this snap and I can see their names and see exactly who uh, who viewed the snap here that I have makes sense now I while I'm on the screen I also have more options I can delete the snap let's say I want to go back I did something I don't like um, up in the top right corner I can delete the snap with, with the trash can or I can this is a video that I made I can actually click the the one to the right of that the download button and it is now saving that snap down to my uh, camera roll pretty cool right now I can also do it from this screen too I can uh, where I'm just viewing the, the snap itself you can't edit the snap once it's been done once it's been released there is no editing it has to stay the way it is okay and then the other thing I'll show you is that at the very top here um, next to my story um, uh, it says my story over to the right there's a little arrow pointing down I can download the entire story um, so I'm going to do that and see how it's downloading all my snaps from the last 24 hours and it pushed that into my camera roll. So now if I wanted to go back, I can share the entire story and it's going to take you through it as a movie um, and outside of it. So if I wanted to go share it on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, then you could do that. So it brings it out of Snapchat and into other things. Um, now. Um, let's move on to stories themselves from other people. I'm going to click the, the three little dots here to bring that back up again. And you can see that there's different discover stories from brands that have paid to push their content to you. And then down below, you've got recent updates. Now, the recent updates are things from the friends that you are following. If you don't follow them, you won't see this. Um, the other thing I will tell you is that if you're not following them or you're, they're not following you, you cannot send a private message. So they have to be following you in order to be, or sorry, you have to be following them back in order to um, see a private message. So I can come to my friend here, Keenan, and I'm going to click on this and see his uh, snaps. Now, if I want to skip through the snap, because let's say it's 10 seconds and I only want a faster snap, I can click it. And um, now it's moved on to Ryan Bell, the next person, because uh, Keenan only had two snaps. So I'm now looking at Ryan Bell, who is a great uh, snapper, by the way. He runs live video um, uh, conference, a big conference uh, on on this stuff. So anyway, I can um, click each of these and, um, and see uh, his snaps. So so I'm actually literally thumbing through. If I was actually doing this the way I normally do it, I would have my sound on and I would be listening to them and I would be letting them play through. And then I could also thumb through it faster if I wanted to uh, just click it with my thumb, it'll go to the next snap. The other thing is if I uh, have had enough of Ryan, I can just use my, um, my thumb and I can move over to the right and it's going to move to the next person. So I can go uh, to somebody that maybe I want to see just simply by sliding to the right. There's Mia Voss, great friend of mine. See that little thing down at the bottom that says chat? Um, I can thumb that up while I'm watching her snap and I can say, looks like fun. And on her end, 
she's going to get a message, a private message from me. See, it says chat sent on the top. And then on the top, it's she's going to, uh, on her snap, she's going to see um, the image, the snap that I answered. So she knows what I'm talking about and the, re- the, the response or the chat that I sent her. So she will know exactly what I'm talking about because she has context because the image or the video actually goes with it. Um, and then, and then she'll see it and then she can reply back or, or not and say, yeah, it really was fun. And here's why. So that's the human to human part. So you can just, again, you can thumb through each of these. Um, it, it starts out by hours, as you can see, as I'm thumbing down. So it'll tell you how many hours away was their last snap. Now there, that's an important feature because if you want to go to the top, that means you have to share more snaps. So since somebody, Let's see here, um, since Kate Hudson, I follow Kate Hudson for whatever reason, I saw her uh, uh, <laughs> I saw her snap code and I followed it. Um, but the last time that she did it was at 12.09. So um, I'm not gonna see her snap as much if I'm just up here at the top where Ryan Bell was 24 minutes ago. So again, the more you snap, the higher you are on their timeline. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, the next thing that you should know is once you get underneath the times, you're now into more of an alphabetical order. So if you wanna go back and you wanna watch something or rewatch something, um, these are old snaps and I can I can, um, I can can use this to uh, actually thumb through on the right by uh, alphabet. So it gets more alphabetical um, the, the better you go scrolling up and down. Hopefully that makes sense as well. Now you have one more option and that's to, to push one more time to the right and that's where you can discover all the paid content that um, that um, Snapchat has uh, allowed people to uh, make snaps, uh, sorry, I should say brands to make snaps for their network. So you're gonna get a lot more uh, branded content but every once in a while I click over, I, I tend to find my friends a little more interesting uh, and they do different things over here. So you can see I can actually download an app uh, straight from here. It gets a little bit more like the functionality, I think, of Facebook over in the um, branded area. So it's kind of fun if you wanted to um, check that out. So there are, again, there are there are, um, there are are a total of real important, the, the important screens, there's five screens. There, when, you, when you go up to the very top, uh, thumbing up to the top is your main setup screen and your ad friends and, and setting up your um, your uh, profile when you when you move your thumb up it goes down it goes to the the screen hi again it goes to the screen where you get to see yourself and or you can move it over uh, by double clicking to the screen and see that we have a video to watch um, on the other end I can take video pictures or do some fun things I'm gonna throw in one more thing for you that's really fun if you click and hold on a face See what it just did there? I'm gonna. Cl- I clicked and held my thumb down, pressed it down hard until it found my face. Now at the bottom, it came up with these different filters. See what I did? So I can click the scroll my my thumb over to the filter, and it does all these fun little things. You may have seen them on the snaps before, as I was thumbing through. Like I think Ryan Bell had one, so you can have fun with that. They even all the way over to the right. If you have two people. You can do a face swap. You put two people's faces in and then you can f- do a face swap between the two. So it's kind of fun. My my kids and I have a lot of fun with this. There it is. And there's my snap. I'm not gonna share that one. It is not very pleasant. So there you have it. That is Snapchat. Again, you've got five total screens, thumb all the way up for your main screen, the setup screen. All the way to the uh, down, uh, down you've got four uh, four screens. You've got the direct message screen. You have the main screen. Um, you have uh, people's shares, uh, share or stories, and then you have the branded content. Um, hopefully that helps a little bit. Send me your questions. Send me your thoughts. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. I hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks again. This was just, again, this was Snapchat 101. Hopefully you got a lot out of it. I know I had some fun making it, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Oh, my God.